Here in Plush this morning, pulled in last night, and uh, found out you could stay at this campground called Egan Park for free, actually. So <laughs> there's only one catch. Park camping in here is really tough because every every night from uh, 12 to 3, the sprinklers come on a couple times. So there's a really only a small section where you can camp at, or set a tent up, I should say, where you can set up and the uh, sprinklers won't get you. And it appears you won't get wet doing that. So that's what we did and uh, had a good night's sleep. So this is basically the end of our BDR trip. I'm going to head over to French Glen from here over Heart Mountain and then take a cut off over to French Glen and head home. to the Heart Mountain National Antelope Refuge. I can't believe it's taken me 30 some years to get here. I've always wanted to come here. And the BDR has been pretty awesome. It's a different country, but uh, the roads are pretty cool. And the scenery is really nice. It's a lot different than the rainforest that I'm used to living in. So love it, gotta love it.
So we're at the Heart Mountain Visitor Center. It's closed, unfortunately. I don't know if it's closed for the season or, or what, but uh, it is closed. There's some neat buildings around here, like, like this one here. It's just a house made out of rock. You can see this one right here. This one here too, the visitor center's made out of rock. It must be the caretaker's home or something. We're getting into the refuge now and we're heading over to French Glen. It was a spectacular uh, ride coming up to the mountain here, so. Well, we're on our way home. We're at the John Day Fossil Beds, uh, heading out to Maryhill. We got a ways to go, but uh, now 
Yeah, it's been a long day. We left Plush, came out to French Glen, and French Glen to Burns. Burns to John Day and John Day Fossil Monument uh, out to Kimberly and hopefully go out to um, Mary Hill State Park tonight. So we're going to arrive late, but you know, the scenery is great. The ride is fantastic and you know, it's relaxing. It's not, we're not pushing it. I think once we get on the high desert plateau, we'll be pushing it. But uh, right now, it's just a nice casual ride through here to the John Day National Monument. So gotta love it, gotta love it. It's been a fun, fun, fun ride. A great tour indeed. I highly recommend it. I didn't see a gas station there, did you? Uh, there's one on Main Street. How far? Two tenths of a mile. Let's go. I just worry about running out of gas. Winding up the end of our Oregon uh, backcountry discover route adventure, we're here at the uh, Stonehenge replica at Goldendale, Washington. I hope you really enjoyed uh, traveling with me on this adventure through the Oregon backcountry. I had a lot of fun. It was tough. It was rewarding, and uh, I'd do it again if. I had someone to go with me. I don't think I would ever do this solo. It is, it is a pretty tough uh, um, BDR route. Um, yeah, gonna be heading home today. I just wanna wish everybody uh, safe travels and uh, keep the rubber side down, shiny side up. And always remember ride right, ride safe and ride responsibly. Let's see you out on the road. <laughs>